Darman is best known for his motivational videos on various different social media platforms, but mainly on YouTube. These videos normally consist of different scenarios that always involve some kind of moral compass and teach important life lessons, which is why his channel slogan is, we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. A lot of people find these videos cheesy and a bit over-exaggerated, but that's what makes them so easy to consume and why his audience is mainly children. Darman currently has over 17 million subscribers on YouTube alone, with over 40 billion views across all platforms. He's currently committed to posting four videos a week, so it's safe to say he has a huge team behind him. He has his own studio called Darman Studios, and a lot of actors who appear in his short films have become regulars and staples on his channel. Some of these actors have been around since day one, and they've helped him grow his channel to what it is today. If you're a fan of Dar's videos, then you most likely have a favorite actor and will seek out and specifically watch all the videos they star in. These actors are a huge reason why so many people subscribe and return to his channel. And that's why they're requesting better treatment from Darman Studios. Darman, the only thing that I can think of that I did wrong was shutting down production due to my medical condition. Not a single actor that works at Darman Studios can afford rent. I made $132. People have been fired over having medical, like, conditions. It's wrong. Like, it's just wrong. And if you say anything like, hey, I think we could do this better, you're fired. Darman is now being exposed by some of his current and former actors for paying them an unfair wage to the point they couldn't even afford rent. Let me preface this by saying Darman is literally a multi-multi-millionaire. He gets millions of views on all of his videos. He reposts them on Facebook and TikTok, which makes him multiple different streams of income. I think it's pretty safe to say that Darman lives a life of luxury, and the actors feel like it's only fair that as the company grows, they grow with that company and be paid a livable wage. Last month, some actors held a huge protest in front of the studios in hopes of getting a face-to-face -face meeting with Dar himself. Now actors who worked with Dar are coming out on social media to talk about their experience working with him. Many of them are saying that they were promised the opportunity to grow with the company, but all these years later, they're still being paid the same wage and they feel disrespected. I stand with the actors and here's why. I started with Darman four to five years ago, as many, many of you know, um, with a small crew, working out of an apartment, shooting videos, and it was an opportunity for me to act and I was grateful for that. It was a cool gig and I loved that. And at the same time, there was promises made about how if the company grew, we as actors would grow with them, which if any boss tells you that, that's amazing. I mean, who wouldn't want to stand behind that and behind that kind of a vision and be loyal and respectful towards that, right? Fast forward to now, the loyalty and respect that we had provided him and his brand has not been reciprocated. And it's unfair. It's unfair to treat the people who have helped you build such a huge brand with such disrespect. And it, I don't stand by that. All we were asking for is a meeting, a simple meeting to just sit down and hear both sides out and find a better solution to move forward. That hasn't happened. Um, there were many attempts to get a meeting but they were all denied, which is why this protest began in the first place. Now, I don't wish Darman any harm at all. I just wish he had heard us from the beginning. And Darman seems to be getting away with all of this because these people weren't brought on as actual employees of the company. They were apparently brought on as contractors being paid an hourly wage. As an actor at Darman Studios, I am just a contract player. I have no employment there. I am just sort of called every now and then, as are all the other actors. And it just is not sustainable. Um, and there are a lot of issues at hand here, but uh, one of the main issues is that not a single actor that works at Diamond Studios can afford rent. This is a show that has millions of views across multiple social media platforms. Um, videos are shot, edited, posted repackaged as new videos, reposted in other places over and over and over and over and over again, racking in millions of views, ad revenue, all this sort of stuff. 
the studio has continued to expand for some time, my entire tenure there. When I first started, we shot everything, as I've told you guys on lives and things like that. We shot everything in an apartment building downtown, in an apartment, not even the building. And now there are three sound stages in Burbank, but things haven't really gotten better for us. And the wage isn't the only issue going on at that studio. Multiple actors have come forward with stories of allegedly being wrongfully fired over medical conditions. First off, the whole production team knew that I had a medical condition to where my face swells up, I get hives all over my body, my tongue swells up, and my lips swell up, where I have to use an EpiPen or be rushed to the hospital. Without this, I can die. I even take daily medication because of this. So for the shoot, I... Was I had a bad allergic reaction. So when I came to set, the director noticed that I was a little off. Everything was off about me. I was not feeling too well, but I still wanted to work because I knew what could happen to me if I didn't finish these scenes. I felt that I was going to be fired, and I told them that, and I was crying and everything, and Shantae told me that, oh, nothing's going to happen. It's going to be okay. He isn't going to fire you or anything. But after that, I was never hired back again. I contacted Darman for over 13 months. I DM'd, I called, I sent emails, and I never got a response from Darman. Darman, the only thing that I can think of that I did wrong was shutting down production due to my medical condition. This really did hurt me a lot because I trusted you, Darman, and I built a really good bond and relationship with all of the cast and crew members. This whole situation is just so ironic. The fact that Darman makes videos about being morally correct and says they're teaching important life lessons only to turn around and underpay dedicated and hardworking actors is so unfortunate. This guy is getting millions of views on every single upload. He's cross-posting the videos on multiple different platforms, and some of the actors are only walking away with a few hundred dollars. One video Darman posted even covers a very similar issue with a video titled, Mean Boss Mistreats Employees, Instantly Regrets It. And people are commenting under this video about how poorly it aged, writing, This is some cinematic level of foreshadowing. He needs to take his own advice. He's so dedicated to his videos, he's recreating them in real life. And the actors who are protesting are even using his own video titles and applying it to their situation. One of the best signs that I saw said, Multimillionaire ignores actors, instantly regrets it. These actors just want to be treated fairly and feel like they're being appreciated for all the work that they've put in to help build this multi-million dollar company. I know a lot of people are saying, well, they're only contractors and they knew what they were signing up for. But an ex-actor actually says they didn't know what they were signing up for. He's alleging that they had to sign contracts before knowing what role they would play. Meaning, if they only had a few lines, they were still tied up for days, making such little money. So if you guys didn't know, they say they pay their actors $18 if you're background or $33 to $44 if you're, if you're a speaking role. Now, this may seem like a lot of money, but this is an hourly rate. They will tell you that you're needed for an X amount of days. Let's just say, for this example, five. You have to keep these five days open because we're filming for these five days. We want to offer you a speaking role. They won't tell you what role it is. They, you don't even have any idea what the script is. And in order to figure out what the role is or what the script is, you have to sign the contract. So you sign the contract just to find out that you are a character in the story that has three lines. Now this becomes a big problem. You just committed five days for them, right? And you're only going to be needed for, let's say, two. And in those two days, because it's an hourly rate with a day commitment, Let's say you're only needed for two hours that day. So I get paid the rate of $33 an hour. Let's say two hours a day. I make $132. But I have to book out, I had to book out five different days for them. Darman recently responded to the protest with a community tab post where he pretty much deflects and denies everything. He wrote, This past week has been a roller coaster of emotions. I'm saddened for those affected by everything going on and for the various misleading stories that have been spread. I just met with some great actors who have been with us from the beginning, and we are all doing our best to get through this together in a respectful and positive way. For those who don't know, there have been recent protests at our studio by a group of actors, many of whom we have not worked with in years. These protesters represent a small percentage of the thousands of actors we have and do not represent the views of all actors. The protesters have said that I won't meet with actors and did not show up for a planned meeting. That's not true. 
I love meeting with the actors and talking to them whenever I am at the studio. But if there's ever a formal meeting request from an actor, the meeting usually starts with our head of production or our HR manager, not me personally. When the protesters requested a meeting, it was scheduled with our management team. It was never communicated that I would attend. During that meeting, the protesters did not communicate any concerns and instead walked out within a few minutes. Given the unsuccessful meeting, we asked if they would put their concerns in writing so we could address them. Instead of doing that, they came to our studio to disrupt productions, causing stress to crew members and actors. Certain protesters have even spread false information to hurt the studio, my family, and me. That's the reason why I have not met with these individuals. I would also like to address the misinformation being spread by the protesters that we do not pay our actors. This is 100% not true. We always pay actors for any work they perform. We don't have any full-time actors. We offer project-based opportunities. This is a standard practice in the production and acting industry. All details, including pay rate and length of production, are specified in the offer letter, and the actor has the freedom to accept or decline the project. If accepted, actors are paid within 72 hours after production wraps. Our current rate for actors with speaking roles are $33 to $44 an hour. While I'm taking the steps to stop the spread of misinformation, I do acknowledge that there's always an opportunity for growth. So today in my meeting with actors, we came up with ways to improve things such as more efficient booking systems, stronger communication, and more consistent hours and pay. These changes are now in motion. My mission on why I started this channel has always been to spread positivity. Although this has been a challenging time, I'm never going to stop working hard towards that goal. I do ask to please stop with any negative comments, especially towards actors, regardless of their views. I'm so thankful for all your love and support. And of course, he included this happy picture of all the staff who stuck by his side just to make his younger viewers think everything is good and the actors who are upset are actually the problem. A lot of the responses are just calling on him to take his own advice and do the right thing by the people who helped build his company. A lot of these actors are now coming together to build their own show and put their efforts into building their own careers together. And I wish them nothing but the best. Unfortunately, so many companies just see their loyal employees as replaceable, especially in LA where there's so many people looking to get their foot in the door. I guess a lot of people just assume that Darman would be better considering his whole platform is about life lessons and being morally correct. But. I guess that's all an act as well. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about everything down below, and I'll see you next time.